Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the vlog. It's 10.05 in the morning. It's Thursday, July 28th. Excuse me, I'm up, I'm dressed. I'm throwing those shoes. I just got them out of the... I had them outside drying because I washed them. But welcome. Good morning. Hold on, put this shoe on. Why did I start the vlog and I'm trying to put on the shoe? Okay, good morning. So, welcome. Welcome to the vlog. So, I just finished working. I'm out of breath. So, I just finished working a two-day stretch and i am tired i'm so exhausted this morning like i literally got out of the bed made myself throw in these gym clothes wash my face brush my teeth now i'm in the kitchen because i'm going to make me an iced coffee to go fill up my water bottle and grab a protein bar and i need to wash the dishes out of the sink so i should be out of here in the next 20 minutes or so but anyway so yesterday I did a 14 hour day because a night shift was really short. So around like four o'clock, the lady who makes the schedule and like management came around to see if anybody wanted to stay late because of that. And I originally, originally declined respectfully, like, no, thank you. And then they started offering like incentive because I mean, look, after working a 12 hour shift, don't nobody want to stay like. With or without me, this ER is going to continue. So after working a 12-hour shift, nobody wants to, to stay at work. You know, like, you want to go home because you worked your time, you know? So when that happens, when everybody say no, when they know they're short and they need some people to come in early or to stay late, they start offering, like, incentives. Basically, like, we'll pay you this. We'll give you this if you stay. Like, we'll pay you double time if you stay we'll give you double time plus five hundred dollars if you stay a few hours you know so when they started doing that i agreed to stay because i knew i didn't have to go back today like if i would have had to go back today i didn't care how much you know like if i would have had to go back today i would have still said no but since i didn't have to go back today i was like okay because it was like four o'clock i was like if the ER is like this, I'm going to leave at 7. Meaning, like, the ER wasn't jumping at 4 o'clock. And I was feeling okay because I was the rapid care nurse. So, it was two nurses in rapid care. And like I told y'all before, rapid care nurses at this particular hospital handled the lobby. So, the lobby wasn't horrible. Like, we'll probably have 10 people in the lobby. Me and that nurse will start knocking them out and we can get it down to 5. Like, that's kind of how it was. It was never, like horrible in rapid care so i wasn't like exhausted i wasn't tired the er wasn't it was busy but it wasn't as busy as it normally is and because i didn't have like my own set of patients i was just running rapid care starting blood i mean starting blood drawing blood hanging fluids giving a little medication discharging people i was okay so i was like if it's like this i'm leaving but if it just randomly catches on fire I'll stay you know <clears throat> and it was like how many hours and I didn't want to commit like in my mind I wanted to stay at least four like do a 16 hour day but I didn't want to commit to that so I was just like you know I, I don't want to commit to to a time but I'll stay you know so bam not thinking that I was really gonna stay y'all why at like 6 20 we get like three respiratory distress meaning three people need to be intubated they all came through EMS like a few minutes apart we do three intubations bam 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 <laughs> and I'm like really really night shift I already don't have any staff and we got three people intubated right now with no ICU beds so that means the doctor is on the phone trying to get these people flown out to um, another hospital so I guess we had to stay it was like me and I don't know how many of us stayed, but I was fine. Like, I was fine throughout the 7 o'clock hour. I was fine the beginning of the 8 o'clock hour. 8.30, I noticed this started, like, trending down. Like, I was yawning. I was quiet. Okay, so one of the mid-shift nurses, she come in at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, she works from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's her. That's, that's a shift, right? And 
She looked over and she was like, Shelby, I forgot that you was here. You must be tired. I was like, how can you tell? Because I'm quiet. And she was like, yeah, because I'll be running my mouth at, at work, y'all. But I was so quiet because I was so tired. It was like 830. So I already knew I was going to tap out at 9. And that's what I did. So I did a 14-hour day, which technically was still like a 16-hour day. I just didn't get paid for two of the hours because I wake up at like 5, 12, 5, 30. You know what I'm saying? So... That's two hours before the, the shift even start, you know? But yeah, so now I'm up. We're off for two days, today and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. And we're about to head to the gym. What else I need to do today? Since I'm recording, I gotta bring y'all with me, right? I need to go to the nail salon. It's not even time for me to go to the nail salon, but I chipped one of my nails, y'all. And y'all know with this gel polish, once you chip it, it's gonna keep chipping. So. You don't necessarily just get one. Can y'all even see that? You don't necessarily just get one gel polish nail fix. You need to get it all done. So I think I'm going to just go get it all done. But it's not time. It's not time. But I'm going to go ahead and just have to. I'm just going to have to do it. So I'll probably go to the nail salon today or tomorrow. Do I want to make this a two-day vlog? I'll probably go today and not go tomorrow. I'll probably go today since I'm recording. I don't think I'm going to record. I don't think I want to make this a two-day vlog. Just a day. Uh, what else I gotta do? Y'all remember when I picked up that Olive Garden a few videos back? I got the, I don't even know if I showed y'all, but I got the, um, what did I get? Oh, I got the fettuccine Alfredo pasta and salmon. I low-key, like, that low-key hit, and I don't even eat Olive Garden, y'all. Like, I can't tell you the last time I've been to the Olive Garden, well, when I picked up that food, but before then, I don't eat that Olive Garden. But that hit, you know, and that salad and the breadstick. So I think I want that again today. Y'all don't know why I'm recording. I ain't doing nothing today. <laughs> I don't ever be doing nothing. Just running my mouth to y'all. Anyway, let's make some coffee and let's head to the gym. I think Alex's housekeeping comes today as well. And that's it. That's all I got for now. So, I'll see y'all. Well, I'll see y'all now. Let's make some coffee. Let's do this. Magnificent. y'all right, we in this thing it's 10 35 normally okay let's talk about my coffee because y'all care normally i just buy like the medium roast or blonde roast blonde roast blonde roast coffee from starbucks and call it a day like the iced coffee but this time i brought like the, the i bought the sweet cream cold brew and it's all right, but I don't think I have to buy it again. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Let's go to this gym, y'all. I don't even know what I want to do today at the gym. I mean, you know, of course we're going to do the Stairmaster. But outside of that, I don't know what I want to do. I want to do legs. My trainer is going to be so upset with me when I get back to Houston because, baby, I don't be doing arms. And that is my weakest thing but I mean did you not see me bagging up hold on y'all because I normally bag into Alice driveway and I just pulled in last night because you know I was tired and I almost just got hit coming out okay is this one fall 
Stand up. I think y'all gonna fall. Anyway, I don't got nothing to say, y'all. Not right now, anyway. So let's drive to this gym. I actually want to talk to my mama girl on my drive. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all, this view, I never want this view to get on. Like, I know I be showing y'all the view all the time, but like, I never want that view to get on. Look at that. That's just so beautiful. Like, God is amazing. Anyway, y'all, let's head to the gym. I'll bring y'all in. I'll definitely record some, some of me in the gym for y'all. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I get there. So until then, see you on the see. Bye. like that ladies and gentlemen i always say that and just like that <laughs> but and just like that we are done with the gym i think i only showed y'all like two clips but what is next stop home because i'm hungry yeah i'll see y'all when i see y'all i'll see y'all when i get in the car time check it is 12 12 12 12 and we still got coffee in our cup look at the lord yum 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 Y'all, I haven't had a meal today. I have not had a meal today. I still want that, um, my little protein bar is melting. Don't worry, I wash my hands, guys. I always go to the bathroom. But we haven't had a meal today, and I still want, I'm sitting like so straight up. I still want Olive Garden, but I don't want that yet. I think I'm gonna just go to the house and shower. Hopefully housekeeping isn't there yet and I can shower before they do their thing and get back out the house. But I think I'm going to go to the house and shower first just in case they come while I'm trying to eat. Probably make me like some yogurt or something. And then nail salon. I really don't want to get my nails done. I really don't want to, but I am. Nail salon and then I'll order me some um olive garden this look gross it's good though it's a protein bar strawberry cobbler it's good though <laughs> it's good i tried the blueberry cobbler this is by one up nutrition anyway but i tried the blueberry cobbler one i didn't really like it and it was blue and i hate stuff that like stain your tongue i don't know i didn't like that one but this one is good do y'all anyway i'll see y'all when i see y'all bye you i made it back to the house y'all it's 12 36 so let me tell you what just happened what my sister texted me i'll be showing y'all stuff do you know someone who may be able to take these locks out of my hand now so let me tell y'all so me and my sisters have matching tattoos i'm sure y'all seen this little tattoo right it's like an ellipsis and I put up like my sister when we first got it we got it like two years ago like in 2020 so my sister my oldest sister made like a whole Instagram post about its meaning or whatever but basically it's like our unfinished journey the meaning of you know ellipsis unfinished con a continuation so for us it's like our unfinished journey so we just got our dots in three different sizes the oldest girl represents the largest dot. The, the middle girl represents the middle dot. And then the smallest dot represents me because I'm the youngest. And then we each got like a little line under each one to represent us. So my line is under the last one because I'm the smallest one. I mean, not the smallest one. Well, I am the small, smallest one. But because I'm the baby, right? The youngest one. <clears throat> so 
we've been talking about like oh i brought up i think it was me who brought it up because i'd be talking mess y'all but i'm scary right so i brought up like oh i think we should get another one um and then just recently i was like oh i think our next small tattoo should be like an airplane because me and my sisters travel a lot together like we take multiple little trips throughout the year and then like one big trip every year we just travel a lot together we're really really close so i sent like pictures of like little small airplanes like oh this will represent us really well you know so i'm going to houston in next week actually i'm going to houston next week because the middle girl, her birthday is August the 3rd and we're celebrating her birthday that weekend in Houston. My oldest sister just got us tickets to like the Kevin Hart show. So I'm gonna fly to Houston to my oldest sister's house. I'm not gonna go to my apartment, but I'm gonna fly to my oldest sister's house and then the middle girl is gonna meet us in Houston as well for that. And I was like, ooh, you know, like we can get tattoos that weekend. Mind you, I'm just talking mess, right? Cause y'all know I'm scared. My oldest sister done set up an appointment, girl. And my heart, like when I opened it, I was like, what? Like, we really about to get another tattoo? And it's so random, cause like, I'm not like, I don't know why I be nervous. Like, I just be nervous leading up to it and then I be fine, but my heart kinda sank, y'all. And it's not my, this wasn't my first tattoo. I have two more. I have, well, this one is old. I'm not even gonna zoom in in it, y'all. It's like 15 years old. But it's like a sun, a moon. Is it 15? Yeah, it may be about 15 years old. It's a sun, a moon, and a star. Or it was. But fun fact, tattoos in the ear don't last extremely long because of the cartilage. So to me, it just looked like a blob. Some people can still see the sun, but that moon and that star look like a blob. And then I have my zodiac sign on my back. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, so it's not like... I'm new to this tattoo game, but still, it's like a tattoo, you know? And we gotta sit there and like be drawn on in the pain. No, but so we get in, we supposed to be getting these done when I, when I go home. She made it for, when do I go to Texas? Wait a minute, let's look at some dates. I fly out on the 4th. The Kevin Hart show is the 5th. Oh, she made it for that Saturday, the 6th. And then I come back to California on the 7th. I gave myself the 8th off and then I start back work on the 9th. But anyway, I just had to tell y'all that like, your girl's scared for real. <laughs> and we get another tattoo. But I don't know where I'm gonna get it at. Cause it's gonna be small. I'm not gonna show y'all the pictures that I sent. Cause we gonna get one of the ones that I sent. But I don't know. I was just telling y'all how I was scared I thought of her so. But I don't know where I wanted it i just wanted somewhere random because it's gonna be little i just wanted somewhere like right here on my cheek i'm just playing it. i'm gonna get on my cheek i think i look cute with you i'm just playing i ain't even on my cheek but i don't know where i want it it'll be somewhere random though for sure somewhere random but anyway let me shower i don't even know if housekeeping is coming they come every other week and i don't think they came last week so that mean they would come this week but they be coming later. Anyway, let me shower. Let me just shower. That way they can be out of the way. And I can be out of the bathroom if they do come. And I'm going to catch y'all once I'm done showering. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye. y'all am i zoomed in i am sorry guys <laughs> y'all was all up in it okay so i'm eating some oatmeal i'm so weird because i'm like eating this dairy free oatmeal i put some granola in it some honey in it but i'm still gonna have some real cheese i wish they made a vegan version of this or a non-dairy version of this not necessarily a vegan version but anyway that's breakfast slash lunch, I guess. Because it's 121. And that's what we're having. Oh, let me give y'all a little outfit of the day. I don't really go on nothing special, but I'll still show y'all 
And then as soon as I finish this, I'll hop in the car and go. Let me show y'all. So I figured out today. I have on a white crop top. I think I got this thing from Target, y'all. I got on some red. What you call these shorts? Adidas shorts. And then I just have on my little Birkenstocks because I love Birkenstocks. <laughs> But that's it. That's the outfit. I want to run to Saks, y'all. I do not need to go in Saks. Uh, but I want to run to Saks because it's some sandals I want that I don't need. But I want some Christian Dior sandals. Y'all, I don't need them sandals. Like, when I say I don't need them. I don't need I don't need those sandals like at all. However, I really want them and I've been wanting them. So I think I'ma just go see if they have them. I could order them, but it's two different styles. One come in whole sizes, so I guess I would need a six, and then the other style come in half sizes, so I think I would need a six and a half. And I actually want the other style. So, I'm going to just go in Saks and see if they have them. If they don't, no big deal. Then, since Saks is further down, then I'll come back up, stop at the nail salon. While I'm there, call in my order for Olive Garden and then come back up, go to Target first. Or go to Sally's because I need some leave-in conditioner. And I went to Target and they didn't have the one that I wanted. So I'll go to Sally's. Ooh, I'll actually go to Marshall's because Marshall's be having the leave-in conditioner I use is by Shea Moisture, their um, like black Jamaican castor oil line. So Marshall's actually be having that. So I'm gonna see if they have it just because it'll be a little cheaper. If they don't, I'll run in Sally's and get it and then pick up my food from Olive Garden and then come back here and then i think i'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing i got a video going up today y'all so i'll spend the rest of the day editing where's my phone oh i'll spend the rest of the day editing so i can post a video on saturday as well and that's it so the video that's going up today y'all would have already seen it clearly before this video it is i think it's another er video i don't know how many more like spend like the life of a ER nurse or spend the work with me. I don't know how many more of those I'm gonna do because it's the same thing. Like I only can record so much and it's the same thing like every day, like me going to the lab, me going to pharmacy, like see, it's the same thing. So I feel like y'all gonna get bored of that. But if y'all want me to keep making those, I mean, it's easy to film those. So if y'all want me to keep making those, just let me know and I will. But yeah, it's gonna be another ER. It's the day in the life of an ER travel nurse. So y'all would have already seen. Can y'all see that? I think it's showing me. Yeah, y'all would have already seen seen that. But anyway, that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna eat this real quick, and then we can hit the road. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye, y'all. Somebody was just playing this song, and I forgot all about this song, y'all. This here used to be the jam. OMG, I used to love that song. Anyway, y'all, time check is 1.40. I'm about to head over to Saks, like I told y'all. Come back up, nail salon. Come on back up. Marshalls, if Marshall don't have what I want, Sally's. Come on back up. Olive Garden, and then back to the house. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible because one, it's hot. My cool day that I was telling y'all about a few vlogs ago, it's gone. It's hot. <laughs> And I just don't want to be out here. And I just got out of the shower, so I'm so greasy. And I already feel like I'm so sweaty, but I'm so greasy. Uh, okay. Let's go. I'm eating the second part of my um, lunch, dinner. 
y'all i would have so many more games as much as i gym i would have much more games like i look good okay like your girl look good like abs be popping like i look good <laughs> but i would have so much more games if i ate these are things that i know these are things that my trainer tell me all the time but it is so hard like i struggle i struggle with like eating anyway my camera's overheating i see the little flash thing because it's hot it's hot i'm gonna see y'all when we get somewhere bye okay so i went in sacks they didn't have them he said that they didn't sell christian dior in that store i'm not really a sacks type of person typically when i get shoes i'm more of like a neiman marcus girl but it's a sax over here i came to that same little area that i showed y'all when i got these glasses so that was what maybe two vlogs ago now that um i was in this little shopping area where all the like luxury stores are or whatever and there's like a louis over here a gucci a bodega Mm, a Tiffany and Co, but they don't have a Christian Dior, so I was just trying to see if Saks had them, and they didn't. And I mean, I could always order these shoes, but like I said, I don't need them. If I could have just went in the store and purchased them, I would have been fine. But to order them, it's like I don't even need them. I just would have grabbed them if I could get them. But now, y'all, we are about to go to the nail salon. There's actually a nail salon right here that I can low-key walk to. It's called Happy Nail or Tiffany Top. I don't know what it's called, but it's one right here. But I think I'm going to just go to my nail salon I've been going to. The last time I went there, though, the lady who did my nails cut me. And, like, my hands are so soft, y'all. Like, I have really soft hands. And they're delicate because I'm delicate. And you don't have to be rough with me. And she was being rough. And I was, like, letting her know, like, you're being rough. And then what did she do? She cut me. And then she looked at me like, ooh. It's like... I told you you was being rough with me and now you cut me and now I'm like bleeding you know like uh so I don't want her to do them again so yeah but anyway I'm hot I'm hot and I want some real food so let's do the second thing I'm about to do list which is get these nails done that don't even need to be done but I chipped one that ain't nobody fault but mine so, so let's do it <laughs> see y'all when I get there bye all right y'all nails oh, stand up nails are done I think I found my new nail technician here his name is Philip he was really good and really sweet and he didn't hurt me because y'all know I'm sensitive let me show you my nails so I be going through these stages where I do not want bright nails and all I want are neutral colors but I think Lately, well, it's the second time I done got bright nails. Look at that. Tell me that ain't bright and cute. That is so pretty, especially on my skin tone. Like, my melanin is making this pop. And I love when they do a white base. That's how I knew he was going to be my nail tech. Because most people don't do a white base and then put that bright color on them neon colors. They just put those neon colors on and they don't pop. But when I didn't have to tell him to put that white base on and I saw him grab that white base... I knew Philip was gonna be the one. So he wrote his name down for me and everything. So the next time I come, I'll just make an appointment and go to Philip. And I was telling him I don't like the drill. Like I hate that drill because I'm so sensitive. And they be nicking me. So I was like, look, I don't like the drill, so I'ma look away. And he took his time when he was done. He was like, I took my time. And I was like, thank you. Anyway, y'all didn't care. <laughs> I'm about to what's the next on my list? Oh child let's call in this food because that olive garden they be taking forever it be like a can y'all even see me come over here olive garden be taking forever it be like a 30 minute 35 minute wait and i only gotta make one more stop you know so let's call olive garden i low-key should have called them while i was while he was finishing up my nails but it's all good we about to call them now because i still need to get I still need to make a stop because I need to get what you call this leave-in conditioner so there may be two stops I made because I'm gonna go to Marshall's first and if they don't have it then I'll go to Sally's and it's all right next to the Olive Garden so let's see before we even move let's order some din din or some lunch thank you for calling me I don't know what this is. hello can I place an order for pickup yeah, of course. Give me one second. I'll go ahead and um, transfer over to another computer and I'll take the order for you. Thank you so much. 
time reference, y'all, it is 310. It's 310. My video dropped. I think I scheduled it for 3. I forgot I was posting a video today. Do y'all like me posting twice a week? I think I'm about to stop, though. <laughs> I think I'm about to stop. Y'all follow my Instagram? Shelby.Gunby. It's in the description box. Let's go follow it. Okay, this the post, y'all. It's cow. I'm hungry. I'm still on hold. So I just made that post, right? And somebody just commented, my friend Kim. She was in a she was in a vlog before. She just posted. I mean, she just replied to that post. And it says, um, just made my iced coffee so I can sit down and watch it. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay. I may have to hang up and call back. Because I'm hungry. I could have been and ordered it in there. I just don't want to wait on it. I'm so hungry. Yuck. Y'all, I be looking on Instagram. And sometimes I just be like, yuck. To some stuff that I see. Anyway. I think I'm going to hang up and try this again, y'all. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Okay, after I called back the second time, they finally took my order. So now we're about to run in Marshalls for this leave-in conditioner. Like I said, if they don't have it, then I'll go to Sally's. And then that'll be it. I mean, it's 325. She said my food will be ready around 350, maybe sooner. I just want it now. That's why I wanted to call it in. But I really wish I would have called it in while I was getting my nails done. So I didn't even have to wait these 30 minutes. But... That's what's going on. But we're about to go over here in this little shopping area, if y'all can see. So, yeah, I'll see y'all when I get inside of Marshall's. made it to Olive Garden so I'm about to text them but I wanted to show y'all what I got out of Sally's because the two things that I showed y'all I didn't even get those so the as I am product or the three things I showed y'all so my normal leave-in conditioner is the Jamaican black castor oil one by Shea Moisture I should have just got it because I know that's my go-to but I also use as I am like sometimes I use that co-wash don't ask me what the difference is y'all I'm just lazy so if I can just do one wash instead of two washes like a shampoo and a conditioner I would rather just do a co-wash and then put a leave-in conditioner because what I don't get the point of putting in a conditioner to wash it out and put in a leave-in conditioner but y'all I don't do no hair like I keep my hair braided so don't come for me because I don't know so and I don't necessarily care to know either so I don't care to know so the as i am co-wash i do have some of that that i that i use but i never tried their leave-in conditioner so i was gonna get both and then i noticed they had a jamaican black castor oil line so i picked up that but i ended up going with eden body works so eden body works is the hair cream that i use so they have a co-wash that i didn't know so i grabbed their co-wash i don't know if y'all gonna be able to see that because it's so bright there we go i grabbed their co-wash and i grabbed their leave-in conditioner because I love leave-in conditioner anyway let me text these people that I'm here because I'm hungry and they said it'll be ready at 350 and it's 349 so they about to get a text message right now my total is 2799 add a vehicle I'm in a white I guess my option would be SUV done 
I'm in space number two because I like even numbers done. Check in. Bring me my food. Oh, and I got to pay. Woo! I'm all checked in. Now I'm just waiting on them to come out here so I can pay. And y'all, I'm ready to eat. So, you know what? I can't even focus. I can't even think straight because it's 3.50 and I haven't had a real meal. I'm going to see y'all when I get to the house. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye. A few moments later. Y'all, like, I am so annoyed because I am so hungry. Like, I sent this message that I was here and nobody has come to me. And I'm freaking annoyed. And I'm trying to check myself. Because if I have to go in there to get my food that I want them to bring to me, I'm going to be upset. And it's nobody's fault but mine. Like, it's my fault that I'm hungry because I chose not to eat today. You know? So I try to be more like conscious about who I'm supposed to be upset with and in this case it should be me because that's why I'm annoyed because I'm hungry and if I wasn't so hungry I wouldn't be so annoyed I would just wait patiently you know but ain't nobody came to my car to take my payment and bring my food and I'm upset okay so I'm gonna have to go in which defeats the purpose of me sending the message so somebody can bring me my food right that defeats the purpose but i'm gonna have to go in and get my food now yes it's my fault that i'm hungry but it's your fault that y'all ain't coming to my car so yes i'm gonna have to check myself when i walk in but i'm still gonna have to be stern when i speak because why y'all ain't coming to my car to bring me my food in the 358 you told my food was gonna be ready at 350. okay mm. I'm going to sit here for one more minute. At 4 o'clock, I'll get up and go in. Okay. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs> Homegirl just walked up. She must have felt my spirit. The Lord must have tapped her on the shoulder. Because I'm a work in progress. You know, the Lord working with me. So he must have put it on her heart that she needed to come on out here. Because I was, I was getting upset, y'all. But anyway, she got my car payment. Now I'm just waiting on her to bring it back. So I can get my food and go eat it. So for real this time, I'll see y'all when we get back to the house. See you when I see you. Bye. Bag is secure. Let's see. My bread, my salad. Is my salmon in there? Oh yeah, and my salmon. Praise the Lord. Alright y'all, we going to the house. Hi <laughs> right, guys. I just be exposing myself on my little channel. But I mean... <laughs> life of a natural black girl like <laughs> the things we have to do to you know get this natural hair together so we can be cute and popping but anyway y'all it's been hours okay it's been it's been hours let me catch y'all up i mean the main thing to catch y'all up on is i ate so i'm no longer like hangry i'm no longer upset i'm no longer annoyed because i ate and it was yummy and i still have a bunch of leftovers <laughs> But that was the main thing that happened and after I ate I realized that I was still like so exhausted so I like cleaned up my stuff in the kitchen and I got into bed now it is a whopping 8.53 and I just put like some leave-in conditioner in my hair the leave-in conditioner that I bought today I didn't wash my hair but it was in those two dusty braids and they was dusty and dry baby so I had to moisturize my hair I should have washed it I should have washed it, but I ain't feel like doing that if I'm being honest. So I put some leave-in conditioner in it. I just put a little Moroccan Sleek soothing oil. I don't know. I never used this before. I just bought it because I was here. And of course, I don't have like all of my hair products. So I just bought this. I mean, it smells clean. So I put that in my hair. I need to put a little bit more. And then a little Eco Styler Gel. Leave-in conditioner, Eco Styler Gel, and hair oil goes a long way so this just i'm gonna just moisturize my hair well i just moisturize my hair and i'm not doing anything tomorrow like nothing besides going to the gym so because of that i'm gonna just leave it in these braids all day tomorrow and then just wear it out on when i go back to work on saturday i was just wear it out in my fro it's so funny because the two things that i get complimented on the most here in at my job because remember like it's not a lot of all right i think it's two of me on day shift and it may be 
two more on night shift. But anyway, <laughs> people don't look like me around here, okay? I, I don't just bump into people that look like me. So when I'm at work, I get a lot of compliments when I wear my natural hair out or in a puff. Like, they be so amazed, okay? So amazed. So I always get compliments about my hair. It's cute, you know? Because like I said, they ain't used to that. <laughs> so I always get compliments on my hair. And then again, the other like three black girls that I saw two of them have weaves and you remember when I first got here I had braids and the other one is bald so then I walk in there with all my natural hat child I'm supposed to know how to act so I get compliments on that and then I also people always ask me where I'm from like as soon as I open my mouth they be like you're not from the desert where you from <laughs> Because they hear my accent and some people guess right. Some people say Atlanta. Some people guess right. If they don't say Atlanta, they'll say another southern state like Alabama or Mississippi. But for the most part, people people say Georgia or Atlanta. But I don't even hear my accent. And I be like going back on the on the camera or whatever to like I be watching my videos to like you know I be watching my own videos and I be like do I sound like do I have an accent but I don't hear it like y'all hear it, but I don't hear it. <laughs> I don't hear it so that is so funny to me that as soon as I open my mouth that's the first thing that they say but anyway I'm rambling my hair is done got my little bonnet on and that's it like I'm tired like, I don't know what else to say, but I'm tired. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up because there's nothing else that I want to talk to y'all about. It's nothing else that I'm doing tonight. Other than getting in my bed and that's that. Like, nothing else, nothing else. So, uh, I feel like this might wrap up my vlog spot. Because every time I get ready to wrap up a vlog, I'm like, are these underwear? Are these shorts? I'm like, dang, I'm showing y'all my drawers, but they shorts. <laughs> But I feel like every time I'm wrapping up a vlog, like, this is where I'm at. So, here we go again. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for spending the day with me. We had a productive day. Like, we got some things done today. I made myself do it, but we got some things done today. So, thank y'all for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. I mean, if you know me by now, you should be saying this with me. So, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll catch y'all in the next vlog. Until then, see you when I see you. Bye!